tutorial part 14 addressing external and internal threats today everyone is shifting from a traditional brick and mortar store to a full-fledged online business this increasing number of online businesses has led to a dramatic increase in internet traffic consequently a massive amount of data is generated every day that has created a breeding space for cyber criminals to which we call the golden age Cybersecurity threats are on the rise, and nearly 68% of business leaders agree. Whether the attacks are motivated due to financial reasons, or cyber espionage, they have created havoc. Cyber criminals are targeting everyone like businesses, healthcare organizations, banks, financial institutions, and government organizations. The new wave of cyber attacks could be seen in government agencies and human rights group mostly in the the freshest example of cyber attacks is the Russian cyber attack that targeted 3,000 email accounts at 150 different organizations. Out of these attacks, most were in the It is said that the group that carried the attack was the same that carried the SolarWinds attack last year. And, this foreign intelligence service is accused of orchestrating the attack as a part of intelligence gathering according to the tech giant Microsoft. The important question is what led to the attack? What were the risks and threats associated with the organizations? Organizations need to understand the risks associated with their IT infrastructure and must have a holistic approach towards their management. We will discuss the internal and external threats and how organizations can protect themselves. So, let's begin. What are internal threats? Internal threats relate to the cybersecurity risks that stem from the inside of any organization to exploit the system or to cause damage. The biggest reason found so far is the abuse of extended privileges given to the trusted employees of the organizations. Moreover, if the organization is not vigilant about the practices then the employees can cause digital mayhem. How internal threats occur and what are their consequences? As employees of any organization have the privilege of accessing physical equipment and documents, without appropriate security measures they can purposely cause damage. There have been numerous cases like the Yahoo email leaks, where the company was subject to the largest data breach on record. Also, employees who have left the organizations while leaving their accounts logged in to provide access to the server. This way, they can maliciously obtain administrative privileges and can take hold of administrative functions. They may change the access rights of other employees or deactivate network security tools. Other than this, accidental data loss and data breach are quite common. Around 95% of security breaches happen due to human errors. The common example we see is the people leaving their laptops accidentally in train and buses while traveling, or accidentally deleting data from a folder, or spilling a drink on devices. Also, weak cybersecurity measures and unsafe practices are associated with cybersecurity risks. Supposedly, an organization's servers are left unlocked in a room, there are high chances anybody could walk into the room and steal crucial information. Even ordinary employees of the organization can also exploit the vulnerabilities accidentally by viewing anything on a malicious website. They may unintentionally download a virus and cause harm to the entire network. What are external threats? An external threat relates to outsider attacks on the part of individuals attempting to gain unauthorized access to the network of the targeted organization. The majority of external attacks are intended to steal crucial information through the use of viruses and malware. The important thing to note here is, the grave attacks come from skilled and sophisticated hackers which is quite worrisome. How external threats occur and what are their consequences? External attacks are harder to deal with than internal threats because you have no control over people outside your organization. Moreover, you cannot predict what's going to happen. To better understand the intensity of attacks, organizations need to know the entry points from where these attacks can take place. If we look closely, we will discover that most attacks are 